Hey guys, Waller D here with a new LP this time. Konami, that's good news. Usually they use, are responsible for good games in this world. And then you got Japanese, I don't know what this is all about. What the hell, is this an anime or something? I'm trying to be at least. Well, let's just watch this. Oh, okay, that might make sense. All right, now that we're through that, it's Mystical Ninja starring Goyamon for the N64, and let's see what this is all about. We got data racing mode. Oh, we don't want to do that. And we got sound mode, which is basically a sound testing way to change it from stereo to mono, but we're going to keep it as stereo because it's always best to have it that way. And we're going to use a controller pack because otherwise, um, well can't really save the game, can you? Alright, let's see how this venture is going to start. Oh, agreed with the nice guy, and they actually... Damn, that's a really good looking bird for the N64. I mean, usually they're all... Usually it's kind of blocky... Kind of... You know... Polygonic. But that's really nice, and now we're graded back to the N64 era. But it looks pretty good. I mean, that's the way we want it, right? Alright, so peaceful so far, um, it's like, what's going- Oh, what are you guys doing? Leave right now! Alright, what the hell's going on? Never come back again, you punks! Okay, so we got our two main characters here, Goyamon and Ibisumaru. Ibisumaru! Why? You've taken all your clothes off! I thought I could negotiate a discount with my hypnotic dance. Okay. Discount? We've been thrown out of the story because of your dance. You just couldn't understand the beauty in me. Okay, let's not go there. You worry me. Yeah, he does worry me too. Well, what, what's happening? Huh? Ah, shit. What's happening, actually? Okay. What the fuck? Well, uh, the feature is coming really fast to these guys, and it's a, in the shape of a flying mechanical peach. Holy god. Yeah. Let's see what the fuck is this all about. What was that great big thing just now? Goemon! Is that the direction of a, a Dio castle? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, man, that's a good-looking castle, too, but considering that this peach is up to no good, I think we're probably gonna see it get demolished or something. Oh boy, what's happening? I've arrived at my destination. Hmm, let's first attack this castle. Mysterious woman agrees. Oh boy, what's that? what's gonna happen now? Shit. Late missiles? Laser cannon? What? Oh, we're going with the beam cannon route. Oh shit. Goodbye, castle. Fuck! <laughs> whoa, 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 isn't it so peaceful here? Um, yeah, I guess it is until you look out the window, buddy. Wait, what's that commotion outside? Crap, they're dead. Oh, or what the hell? What's going on? Okay, so the castle changed if we just proceed with our cunning plans. 
And that's not even a full sentence, really. It's just saying if we can... Sp never mind. The game's never gonna understand me. Oh no, a Dio castle! The Lord's place again? It's been really nightmare- what the, what the heck? Can't even read all that, it's like speeding. Wait for me, Goemon! Yeah, wait for me, Goemon, you're speeding the plot along too fast. Give me a moment to go cha home and change into something decent. Ah, heck. Well, hurry up. Okay, so we start off the game with... Starting off at home, of course, and we got... Now, you're probably wondering about the controls, but they're pretty easy. A, to jump, B, to, s to beat things with your pipe, or if you were the other guy, beat him with a freaking hammer. Of course, you can press C left to switch into your next weapon, which for Goyamon is money. And I don't think Ibisu Mario has anything yet, though. Let's see what he does. Nope. Absolutely nothing. So he can beat things with a club or a hammer. Alright, so... Th also, the switch... Uh, the switch partners, you want to press C down, and you'll probably be getting used to that a little bit more as you progress through the game. What's this? What I gotta say? What? A UFO? What do you mean? I'm 85 years old, you know. Okay. That's a... Way to change the topic there, all of a sudden. Okay, what's this guy gotta say? No, you're, you're just a pickpocket, aren't you, punk? Yeah, you wanna watch out for those rather suspicious-looking characters. They're just... I want to bump into you and, uh, steal your stuff. Who are you? In order to defend the peace and justice to this, of this town, I have altered my body to become your hero and super cop, Robo Officer. What? Okay, can you tell me where Dio Castle is? Because there's some problems going on there. Dio Castle. Can you can get to a Dio Castle by passing through this gate and over the Nihon Basi, br Basi Bridge. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, what do you gotta say, bud? Is this bridge the actual Nihon Brassi Bridge? Didn't you talk to that guy out there? He knew it. I must say, it's a beautiful bridge, fit for the honor of the Dio. Okay, I'm glad you like it. All right, what do you gotta say, girl? I was just—I was just there, but the bridge that leads to Odia Castle has been destroyed, so no one can get in. Now, what's going to happen? To be continued? What? Okay, so I guess we can't get into the Dio Castle yet. Damn it. Well, um, there has to be some alternative, right? We can always find one, I hope. Hmm. Maybe someone here has some information. I don't know if you saw a UFO or a burr, but it's nothing to make a big fuss over. Heck! Okay. What do you gotta say, bud? Oh, yes, what's the matter? I want to know the way to... Hmm, let's go to think about Mount Fuji. To go to Mount Fuji, you must cast through the gate with the left pillars near the Thunder Gate. This would lead you to the Fortune Teller, which you must turn the corner and go straight. There you'll find the Kia Highway, which will lead you directly to Mount Fuji. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. Seem to know a lot of stuff around here. Like, could you do something about that pickpocket? Okay, no matter what happens, I'll be sure to go to this, the Thunder Gate. That is the way of my life. Okay, old man. Alright, so let's try to explore just a little bit more so we can get a good... Uh, Moki B, the pipe maker who moved to Mount Fuji, is a UFO maniac. But for a UFO to appear after he moved? I should have taped it for him on the video camera. Okay, well, since we can't go to the Dio Castle, maybe we can visit this pipe maker and see if he can make a better weapon for us, maybe? I don't know. What do you guys say, bud? It's UFO! It's a flying peach! It's gotta be the alien invasion! I bet whoever's writing this UFO is speaking kinda- Ah, oh, damn it, Pun. Fuck you. Okay, so Pun gone. I'm happy. If you're going on adventure, be wise to purchase an item at the general store. It will come in handy when certain emergencies arise. Okay, thanks. Alright, so I think what we can do is we can introduce you to the three main shops and stores and all that. Welcome! What brings you here? Probably Adventure Diary, because I want to save my game, damn it. And this is basically the way you're going to save your game, but there will be some points in the game where they'll just say, Hey, screw that, you did something important, you probably don't want to do it again, so we'll just let you do it. So, be looking forward to that. And now we got the general store, and we can buy three items. 
Sombrero, Straw Raincoat, and Metal Armor. This will protect you from 3 contact damage, this will protect you from 5 hits from an enemy directly, and this will just protect you from shots from the enemy. So if you arm yourself, I think I would just get the Sombrero, because it's cheap and I honestly think I'm going to get shot more than I am going to get hit. And then this next shop over here is like the food shop, which you can buy stuff to replenish your HP or hearts or whatever you want to call it. And I'm not sure what these other two shops are. I'm guessing... I can guess we can look go in here real quick. The restaurant. The, doesn't this guy freaking hate me? I stopped dying just now! Oh, hello! What is it going to be today? Uh, nothing. Because I kind of want to... No. Welcome! What would you like? Wow, can I frickin' leave? Thank you. Besides, don't you hate me? Alright, so we're running out of time, guys. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.